I'm Sir TapTap. This is Tales from Off Peak City. I honestly don't know very much about this game, but it looked very weird. Uh, that, that was enough. I, we haven't done a lot of these weird games lately. Look at that beautiful man's beautiful head and that beautiful neck. I like the part where his neck clips through the, the shirt, kind of. That's, that's good. Okay. Well, you woke up just in time. Oh, hello, Skyrim. Click to advance text spoken to you. What is my name? My name... My name is... Hi, Parker. How you doing, buddy? It's time to record, isn't it? My name is... Blep. Blepkin. Blepkins. Yes. My name is Blepkins. Don't find this place on any maps, Blepkins. I'm getting a, um... Oh, that's another game I need to play. Um... Yes, hello! Jazz punk vibe from this game, which um, that's a game we need to stream or something sometime. Very good game. You'll come to know the corner of July Avenue and Yam Street like few others do. Ground with the mouse or joystick. Oh, it's a good sky. I wish I I was playing um, Days Gone. I got really jealous of the sky in that game because they don't have light pollution. That's a beautiful city. Just very well organized. It looks like one of those 90s. Parker, what are you doing? I'm trying to record things, honey. Yeah, don't do that. I have many assignments for you, Blepkins. If this weren't first one, I need you to steal a valuable musical instrument. It's an old saxophone. Possession of Catano Grosso, former musician and current owner of the pizza restaurant, the corner up ahead. The so town needs an assistant, so I thought here's the opportunity to prove your worth to us, Blepkins. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is a nice printer. It's got a fresh, spicy O's. Certain items can be picked up. We got a letter! Incredible sax player in his day. World class. Even played with the great Peter Norwood for a while. Now he just holds up in his pizza making pies all day. Sounds good. I like house face! House face, he's got a big house face. He's got the body of a house and the face of a house. Hi, Parker. Something's not right about him. You say something, Pops? He's a picture of the... She's a picture of the sax, all right. Yes. Parker, would you calm your body? So yes, I was I was recommended this fairly personally by, um... Mew! <laughs> Parker, please. Calm your body down. Hold on, I, I think Parker needs, I think Parker needs attention or something. Okay, I think Parker is a little calmed down. Sometimes he just gets in that zoomies mode. Oh, here's the resolute, here's the, the options, by the way. Eavesdrop dialogue speed. Oh, they got a Discord. Focus zoom starter speed. Hi, Parker. The Cosmo D is the developer, by the way. Oh yeah, but uh, this is actually kind of personally recommended to me by, uh, Mark Bianchi, the, um, is the PR guy who handled this game. Um, I guess he knows that I like weird stuff. That's... If you want to recommend me stuff, the, the three most relevant things are... Is it to my taste? Which, you know, just really weird surreal stuff is, is a good start. Um, we got two dog dollars. Um, really weird stuff? Short things. Short stuff is best. Um, and number three, is it recent? Like, uh, a, a, a game that just came out, especially if it's not quite in my exact usual wheelhouse, I'll be a lot more interested in checking out, like, uh... Like, Polybridge. I've been kind of meaning to play... Sup, bros? Do I know you? Brain Sonatas! <laughs> I would Yes. Brain Sonatas. Easy for you to say. Yes, Brain Sonatas. <laughs> these guys... These guys look tough. I don't want to... Oh, especially this man. This man, I believe, has survived at least one nuclear winter. That's why he has green lips. I want to go to the house. I have to go to the face house. It beckons. It hungers for more. Stoop sale. Yeah, what you got? What you got for sale, Mr. Stoop? Bone xylophone. A hat from another time. I I know what that's a reference to. The old camera. It sounds like I'm meant to purchase this. Yes. Good choice there, the old camera even comes with custom film. Take my picture. Okay. How do I take... Yeah, 
Yes. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you're beautiful. Yes. 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 Pout. Pout that lip. Yes. Yes. I was speaking to cat. I freaking, I love, um, oh. We got camera mechanics. Look at this. Okay, so camera is definitely a serious thing in this game. Interesting. Um, I, <laughs> lovely decorations from the neighbors. Um, I beat all of Yakuza Kiwami 2 without knowing that it had a camera mode, and I love camera modes. It's an, it's an unorthodox method. Pizzas between lovers. Is this... That's a big-ass door. Um, hmm. But yeah, I, I, <laughs> this is a lot of face buildings, apparently. I'm just gonna go to all the face buildings. I assume... I don't want to go into the river. Never, never go into the river. Hello, Mr. Face Building. How you doing? Can I... I must capture you from my art. You gorgeous baby. Huh. Stoop sale. All day. <laughs> I love clock. Oh, no, that's an eye. I thought that was a clock. Nice bus. Where was I supposed to go? <laughs> Recommendation, Blepkins. Give it to Ketano the pi Pizziolo. Okay. Will do. I'm detecting a theme here. I'm detecting a theme in this game. Hello. This game kind of reminds me of um, Diary of a Spaceport Janitor. I like that game, but it really stressed the, the there's no point to this game aspect way too much. It was... I was not expecting grind and like pain from that game and it was mostly pain love the aesthetics though oh this is this a pizza place i can't tell how you doing buddies i call the big one bitey um do you sell pizza oh that's beautiful you picked the right time to drop in if you can afford something on my shelf go ahead and buy it katano who runs a pizza spot across the canal he asked me to sell some of his stuff on consignment it's good stuff Practical. I asked him why he's selling it. He said the truth hides in plain sight, whatever that means. Interesting. I opened this pizza place not long after I opened my pawn shop here. It's a restaurant. Eh, yeah, we, we, we know that. I would get some bad rap for the way he's treated musicians. Well, there's lore. We, we, we discovered his investor. Okay, we got an achievement for this. Blepkins. How did you know my name? I guess I just got one of those faces that says Blepkins. Ah, yes. Second guess is three. Unreported engine walking out. Lips attack. Definitely did not just use a Markov chain to generate book titles. Torpid days. Mustachioed memories. Capital capes. Okay, maybe these were manually made. Neutral party. <laughs> What makes a man turn neutral? Lust for gold? All right. I like the cat gargoyles. There's something weird about the... Is the FOV too low? I, there's this weird feeling with the, the stretching of the sides. I, I never know quite how to quantify it. M mene mene tenkle of parshin. Okay. Ooh. I could, j I could just take that, I guess. Really gonna move that pawn there. Greetings, Blepkins. Yes, tactical miniature game, yes! I think we're, we're, too, we're too far along to deal in anyone new. Oh no. I got pizza on my mind. Satano's Pizza. Yeah, we, we're gonna go to Satano's Pizza. But this looks like, like one of those games where if you were to try to do a full playthrough, you would have to know exactly what to do, which I do not know. So we're just gonna take a quick look here. We're just gonna take I, my usual 15, 30 minutes, quick look. Let me ask you a question. Um, I usually just call all my videos Let's Plays, just a force of habit. I don't tend to finish games anymore. Um, would you prefer they were called quick looks? Like, I don't really see a lot of people calling the videos quick looks, you know? Giant Bomb does the whole thing, but like, I just call them Let's Plays for consistency, I guess. Oh, now that is my store. That is my store, oh, okay, wait. Uh, I just realized, is, is there limited film? Internal use, standard issue. No, I think there's infinite film and there's different types. Oh, whoa. Uh, how do I, I 
down on slow and shutter speed. There you go. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's try... This could be really cool. You know, I never messed with this kind of basic photography crap. I never had a quote-unquote real camera. I really just only ever had my phone. Which, even now, phone camera... Well, they're pretty good now, actually. It's phone microphones that suck. Ooh, beluga row. Do, do whales have row? No, not the... <laughs> they're, they're mammals. Of course they don't have row. But whatever. Row is fish eggs, by the way. If you get milt, there's like a dish, like milt and um, roe, and it's just literally fish semen and fish eggs. Delicious. No, it's smelt and roe, yeah. I've been living in this neighborhood since 87. Worked in human resource, horizons and... Human resource, horizons research, and manufacturing center across the street. The size of this man's head, absolute unit, or woman. I, I can't really tell, it doesn't matter. Some people call it the factory. Mainly just security through his hiding gates, punching people in and out. For a while, I've seen HRH employed the entire neighborhood. Never saw what did inside. Did seem proud of their work, though. All right. I gotta stop doing this voice for every single new person I see in the game. <laughs> Dog. Terrifying. I can't, I don't, I don't care about the dialogue, I feel bad, but I don't really care about the dialogue, I just care about this, this is what I want to see, give me more of that, that's what I want. Hey, paisanos! No, we can't, we can't get in there, there's, there's a secret symbol here, so I'm sure we're gonna get some intrigue with that, but for now we just need to, oh! I wonder where the paisanos pizza place could be! Hmm, hmm. Yes, basic, basic human navigation. Guitar lessons with Remy! My, in my defense, I don't think I looked over on this side of the thing. Pepperoni, mushroom, basil. <gasps> a sliced, <laughs> yeah, let me get a basil pizza. Yeah, let me just get, a, just bay leaves. Like no cheese, no sauce, just, just bay leaves. And just cook that mother. <gasps> 16 inch pizza, $40! What is this, New York? Blue Moose energy drink. I like John Q. Vaporway. Oh, pfft. just glued the nose on there. Beautiful. Can I touch the brain? What? Oh, okay. Oh, I can replace the art. Oh, that's neat. I actually like that one, though. I'm gonna leave that. Eh. This one's pretentious. We're gonna do... We're, yeah, we're gonna make it even more pretentious, yeah. This one's just... This one's just corkboard. Yeah, yeah, get that overwatching eye, yeah. I wonder if this guy want, like cares that I'm just putting shit in his, like, stupid little... That's... That's suspect. That's suspect! That's... Excuse me. Oh, you are short. Hello, friend. Um... Well, well, who is this? No, I'm not gonna do a voice. We serve a variety of slices for all appetites, such as basil pizza. Has anybody had basil pizza? Tell me if that's a real thing. Select the appropriate item. Oh. Uh, yeah, my name is Blepkins. Yes, I'm recommended by many people. Such as the weird, suspicious people living in a rowboat. Consomme professional. Yes. Easy disposition. Strong handshake. Yeah, I will break your fucking arms and I will leave you in a back alley. I've lost 17 jobs. <laughs> this reads like any old boilerplate letter. Nice paper texture though. I love the, the stripey lines. That letter's bogus, Blepkins, or whatever your name is. Are you telling me that, that you don't think my name's Blepkins? My parents, the great Bleparinos, are very proud of my name. Finally gonna hire me, Caetano? Blepkins here's a big phony. No, you Blepkins, you're perfect for everything. Yes, yes. Yes, it's all crystal clear, huh? Start my supply my, of sauce needs to be refilled. Oh, we're gonna refill the vine sauce, okay. There's a jar of it in the basement. Yes, sauce of, yes. All right, we're gonna get the sauce jar. I'm pulling, there's, there's a door handle. This technique works for all door, there's door physics, guys. Man, when was the last time you played a game with door physics? I have played games where you operate the door manually like that before. It's not too surprising. I'm 
fucking scared, guys. It's gonna be a Gru. It's gonna eat. It's gonna eat my testicles. Micronal Ecstasy, the music of Peter Norwood, featuring Caetano Grosso. Interesting. Could he be harboring some some deep inner thoughts that he refuses to to you know? <gasps> there it is. There it is. Heck, this was <laughs> this some kind of brain device and a a wheel? Okay. Who's the man in the portrait? All right, let's just get the jar of sauce. Jar of marinara sauce. You know, something marinara sauce related. Checkers slash rallies. Um, they have mozzarella sticks and they're actually really good. They're like the almost what you would expect from um, like a decent restaurant. Not I'm super amazing, but they're really good uh, for fast food. But half the time I order them, they don't give me the, the marinara sauce. It kind of sucks. Um, is, is that a Red Bull or are you just happy to see me? Excellent work, Blepkins. There's a lot of old memories for me down there. There's a lot of exposition down there. Go ahead and pour the sauce into the sauce vat. The pizza making station on my right. Master Cylinder! All right. Oh. Is this, is this how you make pizzas? Is this the sauce canister? Pour it in. Oh, 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 right. We have to use... There we go! Wait, what? Huh? Pour it into... I, I like, removed... Oh! Oh, okay. It was like a preview. Okay, oh. That looks like blood. Or vomit or lava. Or bloody v vomit. <laughs> blood. What is this? Oh, that's terrifying. Study the form. Embrace the formation. Click on your first order to make the dough appear on the board. Alright, what was... Is this actually a pizza making game? This does remind me a lot of Jazz Punk. Roll some dough. Oh. Hey! That's a perfect pizza! Uh, sprinkle the ingredients until you're satisfied. Okay, I put the, uh... Oh my gosh, it's musical! You can feel the tension, you can feel the sadness of the Paisano's pizza place as he pours his 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 protuberances precipitously upon the pizza pie. All right, that's enough alliteration for one day. Like you can, no, it's an emotional experience though. Let's get some basil. <laughs> yeah, let's get a basil pizza. They're real. They're freaking real. You doubted me. You doubted me, watchers. You doubted me. Ever since I started streaming, I keep. <gasps> You can only place so much basil. Okay, whatever. It's a basil pizza. Wait, where did the, where did it, where's it going? This is the pizza assembly line. Wow, pizza's a high tech business. Oh, then it gets incinerated. Yes. No, no, come back, pizza. It's too hot in there. You'll surely perish. All right, is, are you supposed to give me exposition or something? Look at that pizza go, Blepkins. An impressive pie, I must say. <laughs> a cheeseless pizza, even. <laughs> Very bold, thank you. I see you've poured practically the entire sauce vat on there. But Luke says he needs more tomatoes in his diet. Anyway, this automation, <laughs> he comments on your pizza. This is, wow, this deeper pizza mechanics than I expected. I had the great Conrad Bezelbub. Belzebub, yes, installed himself. Someone bitched about how I pronounce Belzebub in the, the Helltaker video. How often do you do you hear people say Belzelbub? Like, come on. Those look like more like pepperonis than like sauce nubulets. Uh, who is Luke Belmont? 47 Yam Street, top floor, all right. We're gonna deliver this pizza because it's not a pizza simulator uh, until we deliver the pizza. Um, Problem with these sort of games, I, I probably can't do all of it because I will probably get confused, but uh, I never know when to stop either. I'll give it, I'll give it at least it's 20 minutes. You left those plastic, but hey stranger, saw you coming from the stoop sale down the street. See anything good? Oh yeah, the stoop sale. Is this a thing? I always heard about garage sale, but it's about the stoop sale now. I'm so, I just, I, I just love saying stoop. For a second I thought you might be some news from our landlord. Well, Big Mo, he's the most hands-off landlord I've ever known. What about that leak in our kitchen? 
The centipede infestation. <gasps> With a cat skill. Oh no! He only he only did raise our rent once. Ten bucks. Slandlord, do you get what you pay for? Big Mo's daughter. I love the musical exposition and the look at that ball. Man, she plays some hard b-ball. <laughs> get, get out of her way, Michael Jordan. She's intense. Ah, yes. Sand billiards. Yes. 47 Yam Street. Here it is. That mysterious sim- Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. Oh, I don't like this house. Oh. Oh, that's, that's disturbing. I don't like that. I don't like the hands. The graphics of this game make me feel drunk. I, I feel like I've had several too many. Like, look at this. It's like... <laughs> it feels like that... Um, the house they made for Flanders in, um, in that Simpsons episode. You know the one. Got a diddly bad feeling about this hallway. Um, 3F. I was all the way up. I like the circuit board wallpaper. I would actually hang some of this crap up. That's just the kind of pretentious bullshit I would have on my walls. <laughs> the unicycle room! I'm, I'm sorry, I'm the most easily amused person ever. What is this? Oh, it's a dick scratcher. Okay. What was... Why, why can I do this? Welcome to my The Order 1776 Let's Play. No, 1886. Where you could pick things up and rotate them. For a couple of years, that was the biggest thing. Asparagus. That was the big thing in, in AAA, is that you could just pick shit up and look at it and like rotate it around. <laughs> I don't know why, but it was. So this game is officially AAA. Department of Motor Vehicles. <gasps> He's got a traffic ticket. Well, your life is forfeit, buddy. I can't believe you commit such a grievous crime. Bicycle or skateboard failed to stop at red light. <gasps> the harshest of crimes. Officer's signature. How did they put my actual signature into this game? Oh, why is it turned so slow? Bicycle violations have no surcharges or points. All right, I don't care about that anymore. <gasps> cube! Give me the cube. <laughs> I kind of adore the like half acidness. Where the 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 <laughs> the um. What are those even called? The notches, I guess. Um, they're not even like a texture, like it's just another 3D object crammed in there. I, I, I appreciate that. It's got a, it's got a brute force, f oh my god. <laughs> Let me show you my 10 inch pianist. Classic. I like, <laughs> I like how he sorts his books by color. That's beautiful. Slaw bags. Quasars and you. That's a good book. It's unnerving how glowing this is. Oh, it's Cube. Th this man knows Cube? I I respect man that knows Cube. Ah, uh, deliver. I've seen enough. Thomas had seen everything. Oh, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's so, I don't even like regular kids, but but that's, it's finally here, Barkley. Blepkins, is it? It's not always gonna be coming with a delivery. If you sense a girl, Maxine. Put that pizza down on the coffee table here. My students tell me eating pizza for breakfast is bad for me. You students are idiots. You really cares, Barkley. Like, they should talk. Pizza's pizza any time of the day. You can get breakfast pizza. It's fine. You just get breakfast pizza, lunch pizza, and dinner pizza. And then it's healthy. It's, it's healthy. You see, look, I got basil pizza, so it's healthy. Dozens of shops have come and gone. Do you see what they built on the front of the old church? A travesty. I, I did not, in fact. It's not even great pizza. <laughs> By a wide mile. Oh, canned ingredients, pasty sauce. Not even a gluten-free option. It's comfortable. I can respect that. You know, there's a, there's a the, the good local pizza place here. They offer cauliflower um, things, crust. 
and I've never tried it because it's like a small. And if I'm gonna get delivery, like I'm like, okay, I'll just I'll get the large pizza and I'll have leftovers. Except with this whole COVID-19 thing, I've had so many leftovers, I can't stand anymore, and I had to stop eating pizza. Because it's... Uh... <gasps> I just noticed! I had this exact thing! I had literally this exact one. There's a lot of different ones of these, and I've seen, like, a lot of people, but no, I had, I had this one. At least one incredibly similar to this. I'm pretty sure it was this. Wow. You play... you put your Hot Wheels on there. Put your zoom in there. Uh, all right. It makes me feel a lot of things. Frankly, Blepkins, I can't get enough of it. I was teaching at the university. Music history. Since the train accident, I haven't been able to attend. Is that why you're wearing sexy boots? Besides, class enrollment's down. I'm going on a sabbatical. Good timing. So, Barclay. The, the, everyone's proportions in this game are just so interestingly wrong. And I don't even mean the giant baby hand. The great composer of the last 50 years. See, this game would take... T I, I can see this game taking... Oh. Oh. Yeah, I can see this game taking a while. Oh, he's got... He's got, he's got one for the baby, one for him? He really does love music, I guess. What's this all about? Uh, look, look, I'm just gonna give you the goddamn beats. Yeah, just have the pizza. At last, my morning meal! Let's see what's in this box, eh? Pizza for breakfast every day, Barkley! On certain days, pizza needs a sauce bath. Clearly, this is one of those days, Blepkins. You understand. See, he gets it! You thought, oh, too much sauce. No. Just enough sauce. There's no such thing as too much sauce. Maybe you didn't put any pepperoni on this pie, doctor's orders. There will be no mushrooms entering my mouth today. A relief, in fact. Cheeseless pie is like an orchestra without the violins. Yes. But sometimes, Barkley, the violins aren't needed in the first place. This guy gets pizza. You all, you, you were shocked at my pizza? No. Good pizza. I know good pizza. You don't. Your basil placement has elevated this pizza to a new level of purpose. This guy gets it, Barkley. Almost pesto-like in voluminousness. <laughs> Blepkin's basil guides my tongue to the core of the pizza ideal. I love it, Blepkin's. For your hard work, I want to give you something. Not a bad pie, Blepkin's. Not a bad pie at all. And as for this pizza here, dear pizza, I want you to meet my mouth. Oh no. What is it? What is happening? Oh. We just had like a traumatic experience watching him eat the food. <laughs> and now that will be scarred in a, oh, just sleep in a vat of nuclear waste. Is that lube moose? No, glue moose. You just sleep in glue. That is. <laughs> that wasn't a sneeze, that was a cough. What was that? It kind of hurt. Oh, I hate that. We're gonna check out Luke's bedroom as soon as I leave this building. Because I feel like some BS is about to happen here. There's a cloning facility. B baby. <gasps> Turtle! Ah, yes. I feel like we're about to get the secrets of the universe right now. What a, what a sc scrummy town. This game, this w town deserves its own name. It's scrummy. What is this? Apotheosis film. That doesn't look good. Oh, I thought there would be like some deeper reveal up here, but no, it's just a new type of film, I guess. But that's good to- wait, 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 oh, 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 oh! Oh, this is a slide! Yes! What fun. That's where you get to have fun and like burn your ass off on these disgusting metal friction demons that like get to be 2,000 degrees in the sun. And, you know, while escaping a fire. Like, you would have no ass left at this point if this were real. There would be just a complete lack of ass. That would be gone. Alright. Dumpster? This is where I belong. This is my home now. Can't go in there. Alright. I'm having trouble knowing when to end. Malm film. I love Malm. 
All right, this is Tales from Off Peak City. Um, this is one of those games where I think, at this point, you know if you want to play it or not. That that is for sure. Let me out. Let me out, Mr. Dog Bark. Where is this? I don't, I just want to see this church. Where is this church? There's something about a church and like being a thing on front. You know what? I want to get a good look at these guys. I'm gonna get a good look at these guys and then we're gonna call it a day. Terrifying. Majestic. Alright, that was a terrible idea. Truth Peppers? Truth Peppers added <laughs> to your pizza station! Wow, okay. I mean, I love Truth Peppers. Routine extraction of a citizen requiring emergency attention. Move along. W what, what do you mean? Uncle, un Uncle Pizza Pie? Uncle Pizza Pie, no! There you are. It's all as I suspected. The time has come, Blepkins. The store is yours now. When the calls come in, the ingredients are all there. You can get more. I left something for you by the cooking station. Just keep the pizza place running. You didn't see any of this. And don't play into anyone's plans. You're your own person, Blefkins. Make the pizzas your way. Jen, Clarice, once they know the truth, they'll come back. The pain, oh! I'm so glad we saw this. That's the real. Please avoid causing any unnecessary distress. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a Nautilus. It's a goat skull. Goat skull. Creepy. <laughs> these these are the emoji of this street. The street is poison type and banana type and dark type. No, that's yeah, that's dark type. Very similar to the psychic type logo. Mew. Hi, Parker. Have you come to interrupt the video? Parker's like it's t there's too many. Oh, Kitano's upstairs key. Oh, I'm gonna play this too much. This, this is Tales from Off Peak City. Um, maybe I'll play more of it later. But I think that's, I think we know what this game is about now. It's about, it's about making pizzas. So if you wanna make pizzas, it's on Steam. Parker, please. I should probably, oops, high, high, high wallpaper. Um, it's 10 bucks on Steam and there's a demo. You can play the demo too. Um, but yeah, that's on Steam. <laughs> Hi, Parker. You're, you're the reason I'm sneezing. You're my allergy demon. You are. <laughs> anyway. Yes! Yes, yes, you are. Um. <laughs> anyway, that's Tales from Off Peak City. That's really interesting. I, um, I'm not sure how long it is. And I, it feels like one of those games you'd want to beat first so you know where to go. Synthetic Grey Matter Pizza. Yeah, that, that's some brain food. Haha. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, remember to leave a like and uh, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. I read all my comments because somehow I have been, I have not been cursed by bad YouTube comment disease yet. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out. Ah!